I mean, you're better looking. He's. <laughs> <laughs> now we met after the when you released the greatest hits and and murder ballads as well. Right. So. Oh, good. So it's nice to see you again. Did we talk about Strindberg? We did talk about Strindberg. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. It was very. Uh, did we do that kind of the album by album thing? We did the yeah. album by album thing. As well. See, there you go. Yeah. So. Uh, that's right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it was funny because they showed it in at the TV, and they got quite a lot of people who who talked about Nick Cave and Strindberg, and right. it got a reaction in the papers. So. Oh, good, good. <laughs> I'll talk about him again then. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. It's funny. Our national scenes in Sweden and Scandinavia always try to set up new versions of his dramas. Right. Uh, sometimes it comes out really good. Yeah, I'm more, yeah. I'm not sure if I was that keen on his dramas, actually. No? It's more that, it's, it's really that um, occult diary. Mm. That's the thing, that's just unbelievable. Yeah. He's a great man. Great, he said great things too, of course. Have you visited his old office in Rottninggatan in Stockholm. Um, you can still come there. I think I might have actually. Um, I've been to so many of those places in, you know, in, when you go to different cities and you go to Mozart's house and you go to such and such house, I can, I can barely remember which is who's who, but I think I did go to Strindberg's. Is it, is it, it's not just an office, it's a few rooms, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's still set up like his house? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah. So you do spend some time on, is it on tours or when in promotion? Um, when I go on tour, I always think at the start of the tour, this tour I'm going to go and have a look at the, the countries and, uh, you know, the cities that I'm in. You know, go outside and go to the whatever. And this lasts about two or three days and then eventually I'm just stuck in the hotel room. And, <laughs> why, you know. why, why does it turn out that way? Because touring, are we, are we doing this? Are we on? Yeah. 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 The uh, touring is just... Um, it's just exhausting and the traveling and the shows and everything like that um, you know and, and eventually uh, you, you just you just can't be fucked <laughs> getting out of the hotel room you know I mean basically all you do is fly to one place go to the hotel go to the sound check you know have an hour off or two hours and then go to the show and and it all just starts again, you know, so there's not really that much time to do anything apart from anything else. And days off, which are rare, you just kind of sit there in the hotel room and, you know, stare into the middle distance and try not to jump out the window. On the other hand, Nick, you have the creative process and, and uh, it's more like, a, it looks like you work more like an author than a, a typical rock star way of creating novels? Well, the, t the typical rock star way is just not to work at all. I mean, rock stars or rock musicians are the, you know, laziest bunch of, of, you know, bastards you could ever imagine, as far as I can see. I mean, they have it really good. You know, a painter has to really slave away to paint and to, to get a, an exhibition together, to get a show together. A writer has to put in the hours because to write a book you've got to do a lot of writing but all a, all a, a musician has to do is write you know 12 songs every three years or something like that you know it's it's not a lot of work um, you know but you have an, you have an office where you go I have an office that I go to every day um, about I get in about 7:30 and I stay there till uh, about 5 5:30. And that's every day, except for Sundays, of course. Has it always been like that, though? Um, well, for about the last um, five years, I guess. Six years. I used to get in at nine, but I've just... I, I've, um, 
I, I tend to get in earlier these days for some reason. How, why, why did it change? I mean, like, how did you work back in the days? So well, I used to live, I, I always used to live by myself, or, or most of the time. Um, I lived by myself. Uh, I had a, you know, I, I, in Brazil I lived with, with the mother of, of, um, Luke. of Luke and consequently I didn't get much work done in Brazil at all. Um, and I didn't have the luxury of being able to have an office there. Or I didn't even, con I didn't, it didn't cross my mind to get one. Um, but um, largely I've lived on my own, so, so it, my home has been kind of an office. Um, but then I met my wife and we started living together and it became immediately clear to me that I wouldn't be able to do any work w with, with her there. Um, just because I don't think, um, I don't have, I don't think creatively with other people around. I just need to be on my own, basically. Tell us about your office. How is it as a piano? And yeah, it's a small room, smallish room. It's got a desk on one side, piano on the other, kind of wing-backed, what do you call it, couch thing yeah. in the middle. It's got a leather yeah, chair with a... couch? Well, I don't actually lie on it very much. I always sort of think I must lie down on that, but I never get to do that. I have a leather, leather armchair with a, what do you call that, lamp, standing yeah. lamp. Um, a Chinese rug on the floor, which is pale blue, and uh, that's it really. Um, there's nothing on the walls. It's very. Uh, it was described as by a friend of mine, or, or an ex-friend now, after he described it in this way. He, uh, I think he thought that I'd, I'd rented this room already furnished. I didn't. He didn't realise that I'd actually gone and furnished it myself. Um, and he said that it looked like a, uh, a cut-rate psychoanalyst's uh, room in Florida. <laughs> so I was, I was mortally offended by that. <laughs> Do you have a record collection there as well? And, uh... um, no, I don't play music in there. Yeah. I don't listen to music in there. 